decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. Get into high rollers, everybody, and uh, we've got a uh, returning champion here who did quite well for himself on the last show. In fact, he actually became our first hundred thousand dollar winner this season. So, uh, in the bonus round, that is. So, uh, let's uh, welcome back Neil Stradinsky. Hello, and uh, Neil, uh, how are you feeling uh, after becoming our first bonus round winner of the season last time? No, sorry about that. <laughs> well. Thankfully, since this is Discord, there's no budget. <laughs> Anyways, we're uh, glad to have you back here. And uh, your opponent today is uh, Brandon Hinkle. Hello, Brandon. Hello there, Mark. It's so good to see you, good sir. Well, it's great to see you, too. And uh, are you ready to play our game? I was born ready, bestie. All right. Glad to hear that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get uh, started uh, with our uh, game here. But uh, let's take a look at the call prizes in column number one. We've got the massage chair. We're starting fresh with that. And in column two, steam shower, blackberries, dining room group, wood burning stove, and the trip to Nashville. So that column is still full. And in column three, we've got the HGTV to start that one off again. $24,702. Not a whole lot of money. Well, actually, no, it's still a decent amount of money. Let's take a look at the uh, prizes, or the numbers, rather. <laughs> All right, hot column is column number three. Yeah, let's take a look at the prizes. Yeah, nice, smooth move, actually. Actually, you already said what the prizes were. <sighs> Ugh. And believe me, Nels would have said the same thing. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, Neil, you are the champion, so uh, I will. So uh, to give an answer, I will ring you in with the Z key, and Brandon, you will be rung in with the uh, M key here. Okay. Okay. All right, you. And uh, here is our first uh, question, and hopefully these will be uh, significantly easier than what we had last time. I uh, doubt it. Well, we'll see. What sport do the Harlem Globetrotters play? And let's see, that is Neil. That would be basketball. They do play basketball. Very good. All right, all the numbers roll. are good. Let's roll. Now. And you have a five. Uh, let's do the five by itself. Five on its own. What sport is called America's Pastime? Neil again. Baseball. Yep, it is baseball. Go Blue Jays! I have to throw that out there. Uh, all the numbers are still good, Neil. And I have to throw these dice right now. Roll. Six. Uh, let's do the six by itself. All right. What is the symbol for copper? Brandon. See you. I'll see you uh, a pair of dice, because you're right. Oh, why? Right. I'll wall them, please. Yeah, I figured, because all the numbers are going to stick And look at that, you've got a double. It's a ten. I'll take the one and nine, please, good sir. All right. And here is your next question. In what Japanese city was the first atomic bomb dropped? Brandon. Tokyo? Right. Uh, well, uh, you're close, but it's actually Hiroshima. Oh. All right, Neil, roll them. That's roll. Now. Three. And there's only one way you can do it. Yep. Three by itself. And I'll give you call number one. All right. Three and five are the bad numbers, players. What movie is known for for the famous quote, Yo, Adrian? 
Neil. Rocky. Yes. All right. What do you want to do? I will roll. Okay. And we'll do it right about now. Six. And there's only one way you can do that. Yep. Four and two, please. All right. You've got two columns. And we went from having only two bad numbers to having only two good ones. What disease can be caused by a lack of vitamin C? Mm, that is scurvy. Hmm. Yeah, and, uh, all right. Yeah, who is the mascot for the fast food chain KFC? Brandon? Colonel Sanders. It is Colonel Sanders. Very good. All right. Roll or pass? Here you go, Neil. Good luck. I knew you'd do that. No insurance. All right. Goes. All right. <laughs> You're still alive. It's a seven. Oh. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What film series stars Johnny Depp as Pirate Jack Sparrow? Neil. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. There you go, Hinkle. Okay. Oh, please. Well, it's a double, but it's a four, so uh, let's try that again, shall we? Michelle, now please. Five. All right. And uh, I'm going to need that insurance marker. There you go. All right, and let's go now again. Please. Well, you can't use a six, so uh, let's try that again. Now please. Oh, oh no. one short of what you needed. <laughs> Uh, that round, you take home $4,394. Well done there. But, Brandon, it's still very early. So let's see what happens here in game number two, shall we? We shall. We've got a Honda Civic LX now on call number one. Hello. And I know what Nels would be saying. He'd be mine. Yep. <laughs> All right, call number two. Steam shower, blackberries, dining room group. Wood burning stove and the trip to Nashville. And in call number three, we have a Chevrolet Cruze worth $17,689. Can, can we knock like $20 off or even $8 off? No? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wish we <you> could. <laughs> yeah, but we can't. And Nels would be like, <laughs> You would, Leona. <laughs> anyway, over $56,000 worth of prizes up there. Let's see how the numbers stack up. And we have column one as our hot column. All right. Here we go. What is the name of the fastest land animal? Brandon. I'm going to say a cheetah. And I'm going to say dice are yours. Oh, all right. That's well, please. No, please. And... Oh, the Red Sox scored again. Boom. Uh, anyways, you got a seven. I'll take lucky seven by itself, please. All right. Now let's go to this next one. All right. The following line is taken from what 1970s film? Listen to the line first before you try to identify the film. The line is, you talking to me? Time. That film is Taxi Driver. Oh. All right. What do you call a snack made up of marshmallows, graham crackers, and chocolate? Brandon. S'mores. Which are very good uh, around campfires in the summer. Roll them again. I, I definitely want some s'mores this year. Now I think of it. You're making me hungry. Let's roll. Well. Copies. Five. I'll do the one in four, please. All right. So four is the only bad number. Uh, which country is famous for the fast food chain Jollibee? That is time, and for some reason the answer is not on uh, this uh, page here. So good job. Hey, that wasn't my fault. 
So now... Are you sure? Uh, uh, Couldn't resist. Next. Okay. It looks like it's a Filipino chain, so the Philippines is the correct answer for that one. Hmm. I would never thought of that. All right. Okay. How many varieties are there in Heinz tomato ketchup? Oh, Brandon, right uh, at the buzzer. I'm thinking 56. One off. 57. Oh, wow. But that was a very good guess, though. You were right in the ballpark. Yes, it was. Uh, Neil, the, the option is yours. I will roll. Okay. Then let's do it right about now. You have a nine. Hmm? Nine by itself. All right, that's going to give you call number three, which will also give you one of those cars. And... All right, this one's a repeat question, so I am going to... Uh... All right, this one's a fill-in-the-blank, but it's way too vague, so I'm going to skip that one as well. Monta and Silverstone are venues for which sport? Time. They are venues for Formula One racing. Ah. What is the highest-grossing holiday movie of all time? Brandon. I'm going to say Home Alone. You would be correct. Oh, wow. I had between the Polar Express or Home Alone, and I went with po uh, Home Alone, yeah. Anyway, I'll keep the dice, please. Okay. Now, please. Oh, it's a six. It, it, better yet, it's a double. Yep, I'll take the six by itself, please, Mark. Very well, and that's all you can do with it anyway. Yep. All right. What does the term GPU stand for? Time. Graphics Processing Unit. Hmm. Alright. What was the name given to Android 4.3? Time. These are also uh, little snacks that you could put in your mouth. Jelly Bean. Oh. That one. Yeah. Never what is that. the nationality <laughs> of Picasso? Brandon. Paintings? Uh, repeat. Paintings? Okay, say that one more time. Paintings. Okay, I still can't make that out, but it's incorrect, whatever it is. Okay. I'm trying to say paintings, you know, like paintings? Oh, yeah, no, paintings. Okay, yeah, no, that... I think you misheard the question, uh... Uh, Brandon, we were looking for, like, his, uh, like, heritage. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Spanish is what we needed on that one. Roll or pass? Oh, roll. okay, I can't misunderstand. Sorry. Yeah. I will roll. Seven. Mm. Oh, five and two. Okay, all right, three, eight, and 11 are left. Okay. All right. In what book series does the character of Neville Longbottom appear? Brandon? Harry Potter! And that is correct. I remember seeing the movie and everything. I should know that. <laughs> well, I would hope that you get that one right, because I've seen the movies too, and I've actually seen the play in a couple of weeks. Uh, roll or pass? All right. I'll pass it to my good friend Neil, please. Here, Neil. Right. Here we go. Let's roll it right after this. <laughs> An 11, and that's oh going to get you the calls and the match. Wow. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay. 60,000. $820 is uh, what you ended up with. Brandon, Sorry. <laughs> well, what can I say? You got uh, a lucky roll there at the end, but did you have fun? I sure did. 
I had a blast, Mark. I can't wait to be back on a future episode. Neil, good luck in the bronze run. Go get the 100k win. Let's bring that confetti down. <laughs> Man, you can clean it up when I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Neil, we have a bit of a accounting to do here. You won $60,820 in that match. So as of right now, you stand at 248445 and we'll see if we can add another 100,000 to that in the bonus round. Second uh, chance at a hundred thousand dollars, and uh, it worked out very well for you the last time. Well, I have a strategically placed horseshoe if you didn't get my drift. <laughs> well, we'll uh, see if your strategy works out for you again here. Uh, here are the golden dice. Best of luck. All right, as we say on the Price is Right, let them roll. And right away, you have an eight, and it's a double, so that'll definitely help you. Yes, it definitely will. I'll take the eight by itself, please. All right, and one marker and a thousand dollars. Go again. And, and here we go now. Nine this time. All right, nine by itself, please. All right, and roll. Another double. Jesus. Let's see. What can I do here? Um, uh, hmm. Choices and choices. And no, I'm not going to do the pinball count that goes with this uh, number you rolled. Yeah, thank you. Let's do... Let's do... Hmm. Let's do seven and five. Seven and five it is. And all the numbers are still good, Neil. Let's roll. Nine. Uh, well, I guess, uh, six and three. All right. A seven will, uh, get you that hundred thousand dollars. But keep well, in mind... I'm a normal out there, and I got, I got two markers, so yeah. let's roll. Just keep in mind, you don't want to leave the one on its own at the end. That's true. Uh, well, there's an eleven, so I'm going to need one of those markers. Here you go. The one number, even though the six is technically a good number, that's one that I'm hoping doesn't pop up here because then that'll mean game over. True. Crap. Yeah, that is a problem. All right, well, it didn't come up. It's a four. We can use that at least. Yeah, thank God. So now you need a three. Yep, yeah, and I still got a marker, so let's roll. Seven. I'm going to need that marker. All right, flying without a net here. Let's roll. He did it again! <laughs> Neil, I would highly suggest that you go to Vegas right now, because whatever strategy you have for this bonus round, it's clearly working. Sure, I, if you say so, whatever. <laughs> Nonetheless, your two-day total is three hundred forty-eight thousand four hundred forty-five dollars. <laughs> well, uh, not only is Neil the first person to win a hundred thousand dollars this season, he did it on the last show, like I mentioned. But doing it twice in a row? My goodness. Uh, can you make it back here again and do it a third time? Well, you'll have to watch next time to find out. So long.